Alright, we just saved. Let's take a little gander at Neo New York. Gander. Yeah, well. Oh my god, that speed. There we go. You ever hear about the Chaos Dunk? They say it's as powerful as a 150 megaton nuclear blast, Jesus. And the only man ever capable of performing it was Charles Barkley. It's the reason basketball was banned. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of it. They say we're supposed to be worried about the ultimate Hellbane, but I think Charles Barkley is the real menace. I never understood why they didn't finish him off in the Great B-Ball Purge. Probably so he could live the rest of his life in guilt and shame. It's, like, it's so serious. <laughs> like, that's so serious. You need some okay. Prozac, man. Dude. Oh, Chin Store. This place is great. I don't think you can investigate anything here. Like, I'm, I'm trying to look around, but I'm, I'm really not getting anything here. The clock, maybe? Nothing. Let's talk to Chin. Alright, um, fair warning. I am reading this as it is written. Do not <laughs> hate me for the love of God. <laughs> Hey, Abakuri, you hear about that ultimate hellbane? That guy that killed all those people? Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, he one tough customer I hear. Uses Zalbers. Kinda makes you wonder how Blood Moses got their hands on such powerful weapons. Yeah, didn't he just kill those two guys at the mall? Yeah, yeah, they say he out for more tonight. That's why I always carry my Square Enix Goya gun. That <laughs> is funny. <laughs> Square Enix Goya. Why Goya? <laughs> I guess they were thinking of, like, the least likely company to merge with Square Enix. <laughs> That's pretty unlikely, I'll give you that. Uh, can't be safe around here no more. Top of the line, too. So why are you here so late, Barkery? What you want? I'm not feeling so well. I need some medicine. <laughs> some medicine. <laughs> oh, I know a lot of medicine, Barkery. But I give you this ecto-cooler. Make you feel better, huh? Yeah. Thanks a lot, Chin. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hey, and Barkery. Yeah? Don't let that ultimate hellbane get you. I won't. Five ectocoolers, hey! Three steroids. Here you go. <laughs> I can Let's count them. Back I Dude, can count the these steroids that I have. Yeah, one steroid. By the way, one thing that amused me was that woman who was saying Charles Barkley was a menace. Does she not recognize the man? He's kind of famous. <laughs> So let's see, items. Steroids. When the going gets tough, it doesn't really help me. I mean, I guess you just what they do. They probably buff you. Tobacco. Cures all status ailments and negative stat mods. Yes. <laughs> That's genius. It's just like in real life. opposite. <laughs> yeah. Tobacco will do that for you. Tobacco. Uh, tobacco. <laughs> give me a basket or a bushel. Just get him. Move along, citizen. All right, how, how about this guy? Hey, you want some Ecto Cooler? I got the best shit there is. Don't trust none of them other guys. 35 Neo Shekels is the best I can do. Or, you know, I just got five for free plus one in the oven, so no. Come by any time, my man. How about this guy? You look like you need a hit of some chups. I got the cheapest stuff in town. What the hell are chups? What are they? It's a chup. <laughs> a homegrown chup. Helps with the glaucomas. <laughs> With the glaucomas. <laughs> All of them. Buy chup. Single. Cure glaucoma. <laughs> Alright, man. Take care of yourself. It cures glaucoma. <laughs> oh, oh! It, it, it tells you what they do above. Ecto cooler. Uh, your vitality points is plus 66%. So I guess it buffs your... Uh, or it heals you a lot. Revive and HP up 100%. It's a pack That's cool. This parking lot, they say it used to be a basketball court. That must have been a sight. People playing b-ball in public. Pretty wild, huh? You got no idea. Before the great b-ball purge, this place would be packed. Fans on the sidelines. Ballers, but pick the game still dust. Hell, sometimes they'd have... Games going until they shut the lights off, even after it was a different time. A diff 
Yeah. Whoa, pal, I'm gonna stop you right there. I ain't no sport lover, and I don't like where this conversation's headed. There's cops around, and you don't know who is listening. Beat it before you say something we're both gonna regret. Ugh, it's that bad. Ugh. Some bum, help me. Just one more chicken fry. <laughs> Ugh. Alright. It reminds you of, like, middle school. Yeah, really. You wouldn't know from the way I look, but I used to be a Square Enix Goya executive. I disagreed with the new aggressive marketing campaign, and they took it all away. My house, my car, my family. Now look at me. A lousy bum on the street. Spare me, chump. <laughs> the post-cyber apocalypse has spelled tough times for everyone. Everyone's about a sob story. And tell me yours ain't gonna do a damn thing. Whatever. You know what? You're just like those pigs at Square Enix Goya. Concerned only with themselves and their own wallets. Alright. Man, you ever been to Jiggleburg? All the chicken <laughs> fries you could want. And it's all legal. <laughs> consider consider those two sentences. Um, Jiggleburg. What? <laughs> Thing is, the list for passports out of this shithole's backed up for years. I'll probably be dead before my name comes up. It's a damn shame, you know that? And the women there, man, I've heard some stories you wouldn't believe. God damn it, man, look where you got me going. I need a chicken fry to take my mind off this. I'll be alright. As long as I got my babies. As long as I got my chicken fries. I like how they're like the drug of choice. Yeah, really. <laughs> hey, man, I got the shit you need. Just take a look. Oh, this is, this is good stuff, actually. Uh, volleyball. And it, it boosts our stats. Can you, you can actually see by how much. Beach, can you do what? a beach bump? What was it? Can you do a beach bump? No. But uh, by the way, I love how we're a basketball player and we're equipped with a soccer ball and now a volleyball. Jersey? This jersey is contraband. <laughs> um. Bapes. Uh, there we go. Uh, Bapes. The hottest kicks in the post cyber apocalypse. I'm not gonna buy these three because they don't all benefit you, see that they kinda lower some static like speed. But we got backwards cap. Provides more protection while backwards. Alright. <laughs> how? Nobody knows. And I love how deep this is, sunglasses. It's always dark in the post cyber apocalypse. Wow. What in for a b-ball or sore wrists? Alright. Get out of here, man. Alright, are they already equipped? No, they're not. Alright, soccer ball, boom. Jersey goes to rags. Maureen's ring. Bapes. What's a yeah, bapes? Maureen's wedding ring. We're wearing her wedding ring as bling. What's bapes? I don't know. They're like, they're kicks, I guess. Kind of shoes your speed or something. I can't go in that door. Alright, let's move along here. They don't give you as much stamina as I like. Alright, little boy. Q, what are you doing here at night? You should be at home. Ah. Uh. Kid, can't you hear me? You should be at home. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry, kid. Give the kid a Neo Shekel? Now, I'm gonna be a dick and say no, because you actually unlock something later in the game for doing that. If you're nice, then... You know, nothing happens. It's called Survival of the Fittest. If you can't slam with the best, then jam with the rest. That's like the greatest line in history. <laughs> My dad told me that when I was a kid. <laughs> I'll bet he did. It's so cold out here. What are you doing outside, man? The church is right there. They got a heater. Go on in. Yeah, I know. I was just in there. I just... I hate spending all day in there, you know? I feel like a fucking leech. I just got no place else to go. There are some guys that sleep in there, I can't do that. Yeah, I hate the cold. Just every minute I spend in there, I feel more useless. Heh, <laughs> I know I must sound like a fool. Hey, it ain't my problem. Do what you want. Alright, I guess I'll see ya. Yeah, about that church. Church of Clispeth. <laughs> Alright, sounds like a freaking Cthulhu monster, or a Lovecraft monster. The other side's warmer. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I mean the heating ducts are on the other side. Nowadays, the only reason people come here is to get away from the cold, it seems. 
definitely not for the chasings of Clispath, at any rate. Sometimes I feel like the last believer on Earth. If only they would let him into their hearts. What do you think, son? About what? Clispath? I don't could care less. This rotten city is hell enough to deal with. I don't got time to worry about another one waiting that for me down the road. <laughs> That's so deep. <laughs> I got a son to take care of. I look out for him. I don't got time to give a damn about your god. That's... that's blasphemy! Clispeth is a loving god! I assure you, but I still think it's unwise to tempt his wrath. Then so be it. If Clispeth exists, he's already taken enough from me. I'd like to see him try for any more. Again, so intensely serious. <laughs> now, how about this bum over here? Zzz, b ball. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Really? <laughs> this is what he dreams about. Like the world revolves and, on B-Ball. And he says B-Ball. Yeah, in his sleep. Can I investigate the, the altar or anything? I actually cannot. The statue? You, you can't alter it. Uh -huh. Alright, how about the priest? That looks pretty shady, got the hat and everything. Charles, I uh... I haven't seen you in here since the... Yeah, Larry. That was a long time ago. Larry Bird, look at that, <laughs> look at that face! <laughs> he looks like a crash dummy. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, Charles. I'm sorry. I know it wasn't your fault. I don't need your goddamn pity, Larry. Acting like you give a damn just cause you're a priest now. I don't- you don't know shit about what happened, and you got no business. Acting all buddy-buddy just cause we used to be friends. Shit's changed, Bird. This ain't golden age of b-ball anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the golden age of b <laughs> <laughs> You more than anyone should know this. And I'll remind you once again, we're with LeBron James' great-great-grandson, but Charles Barkley, Michael Jordan, and Larry Bird have not aged. <laughs> <laughs> not a bit. <laughs> you think I sold out, Barkley. You think I sold out because I'm not absolutely miserable like you. You got no place to say that shit, Bird. You think it's fucking easy to raise a kid on my own? You think it's easy to be alone now when I need Maureen more than ever, Bird? Charles, keep your voice down. This is a house of God. You know damn well it was my fault, Larry. You know all this shit is my fault, and you ain't got no place to say otherwise. God damn it, man. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why did you come here, Charles? You didn't come here for this. I... Uh, I don't know, Larry. I just kind of wandered in here. Maybe I was thinking about her. I don't know. She was a woman of Clispeth, Charles. Clispeth? God. You think I can believe in that shit now? After all that's happened? Do you think I can just pray to Clispeth and everything will be okay? Shit's changed too much. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I'm, uh, gonna go now. Barkley. What? Don't do anything rash. Yeah, Larry. Yeah. And once again, those pauses between the text... That was not me, that was the game for dramatic effect. Like, it's that serious. <laughs> so melodramatic. I, I know. So I go at the back, or... No, okay, I go at the front. So really nothing else to do now, but to head back to the apartment. Nowhere else we can really go, I've kind of showed you everything. Oh, here we go. Damn, Bird. I think he's making a difference. Shit's never gonna be the same around here. I love that. That tree ain't never gonna be green again. Like, like, games don't do this. Like, it's really cool. Kids going to be the... Going to the b-ball court ain't ever gonna happen. And Chin's shop ain't ever gonna be like it used to either. Shit's never gonna be like it was. That's so good. The guy rocking a pompadour. 
looks like he's Maxi from Soul Calibur. Oh god, the king of all cosmos. I'm starting to see things. I better get home and catch some Z's. I'm glad that in the year 2041, catch some Z's is still a thing. In the post cyber apocalypse, you never know. Yeah, guess not. Alright, back home. Let's catch some Z's, as he says. God damn, I'm tired. Alright, I'm not controlling this. He's moving on his own here, so we're getting a story scene. Hoops must already be in bed. Let's see what's on TV. The ultimate hellbane has struck again, this time at the Eastern Motors Car Company, slaying three men once again with Zaubers. What the hell are Zaubers? <laughs> yeah. That's it. Hoops and I are getting the hell out of here. This place has gotten too dangerous. Oh god, I'm getting tired. No sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, not even a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I read it. I did it in the Barkley voice, too. Oh, oh my god. Man Manhattan has just been completely destroyed. Ten million people are expected to be dead, with estimates ranging up to fifteen million. Dear god, this is the most awful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm... I'm sorry, folks, but I just wasn't prepared for this. Details are extremely limited right now, but the damage was believed to have been caused by a chaos dunk. Yes. Yes, it has just been confirmed that the destruction was caused by a chaos dunk, meaning that Charles Barkley is the perpetrator, Barkley being the only human alive capable of performing a chaos dunk. It it doesn't matter if you believe in Krishna, Mohammed, or Clisbeth, now is the time to pray, Neo New York. <laughs> there he is! Get him! Charles Barkley... You are under arrest for performing a chaos dunk that killed 15 million people and associating with Blood Moses. Give yourself up or we will be forced to terminate you. What? Oh, dude. What's going on? Jordan, why are you here? Where's Hoops? What's happening? You are under arrest for performing a chaos dunk. Surrender yourself or face the consequences. What? I didn't do a chaos dunk. Jordan, you know damn well, I swore to never perform another chaos dunk 12 years ago. 12 years is a long enough time to change your mind. Men, arrest him! I, I didn't do it, Jordan. This is a mistake. I didn't know anything about blood moves. <laughs> blood moves. You're a sick, sick little man, Barkley. I gave you the time to give over Maureen and B-Ball, but I guess that just wasn't enough. I mean... You've got a kid, Barkley. I thought you'd grown up. Execute this bastard. You son of a bitch, Jordan. Oh, jeez. Quick time events. But they're handled well. I love that cancels you don't run through the wall. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oh! Yeah. God damn it. Give yourself up, Barkley. No way in here. Yeah. I love that hopping over the junk. This is the end of the line, Barkley. You've got no choice but to surrender and tell us what you know about Blood Moses. Barkley, this is your last chance to surrender, and tell us everything you know about Blood Moses. Think of your son! Ooh. You wouldn't dare hurt him, Jordan. You goddamn coward. You wouldn't dare hurt him! Surrender, and it won't come to that. Okay. Okay. I'll give myself. Don't do it, Charles! What? Barkley, this way! Damn it, Barkley. 
you've gotten away this time, but you're a wanted man now. There won't be a next time. How intense was that, seriously? It really was. What the hell is going on? Who are you? Where's Hoops? I... I do not think I could fully explain what is happening. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Someone who can make some sense of this to you. No. You're gonna tell me what the hell is happening right now, or I'm gonna... I'm gonna do something I'll regret. I will tell you this much, Barkley. No matter what happens, I am on your side. That doesn't mean anything to me. I have no idea who you are. For all I know, you could be the ultimate hell bane. I... am the ultimate hell bane. <laughs> what? What the hell? What the hell is going on? I don't know nothing about no blood Moses. I sure as hell don't want anything to do with it. What the hell is... this? Barclay, the men I killed... I... I am not a murderer. They were agents of Blood Moses. I'm not a terrorist, and I'm not one of the bad guys. I'm here to help you because... Because I know you're innocent. And I believe the same people that wronged me so long ago are the ones that are trying to hurt you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm supposed to believe you? Because you think I'm innocent? Hell no. You're a murderer, and I don't want anything to do with... This shit. Charles, please, you... You need to believe me. Just before Jordan came for you, I... I took Hoop somewhere safe. Somewhere Jordan and Blood Moses can't get him. I love how it's obviously Balthius and... <laughs> I know, it's not even so. <laughs> Hoops... It's... Safe? He's at the church, Barkley, with Bird. They can't get him there. Uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sanctuary? Sure. Oh, uh, all this... I don't know, call me call me stupid, but Jordan does not seem like to be the kind of guy who would follow Sanctuary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to help you, Barkley. I can't tell you who I am right now, but I know that you didn't do it. I know you've got to be a little confused, and there are a lot of questions you want answered. There's someone I think you should meet that can help you, Barkley. You've made enemies tonight, and you're going to need all the help you can get. Please, Barkley. Please believe me. Uh, I don't understand what's going on at all, but if... You can help me. I'll take any help I can get. We're going to need to move fast. There's no doubt in my mind that both Jordan and Blood Moses are looking for us. We'll need to make haste. Wait, where are we? These are the B-Ball Catacombs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they have catacombs. Like, what for the basketball. <laughs> the final resting place of some of history's greatest ballers. It's... It's an ancient site, but it's been, uh, used up until... The Purge. Basketball's not even, like... It's barely, like, a hundred years old. Catacombs now, <laughs> they're ancient by whose standards? <laughs> we should make haste. Yes, let's get going. One more thing. I have some Battler's Tomes you might want to read before venturing <laughs> forward. You can check them in your item pouch. Let's do that real quick. Yay, he's with us! Ultimate Hellbane, bitch! Alright. Battler's Tomes. Battle Fundaments. Whilst traversing the plains, A-I-N-S, like actual fields, I guess, you will undoubtedly encounter ghastly creatures. Below lies some battle fundamentals. Attacks on muscle strength determines damage on a monster minus their guard. Brain attunement is your defense. Oh, oh, your skill damage. Okay, so your brains are basically your magic attack and defense. So be sure to be as sharp as a jewel-encrusted dirk. Oh my god. <laughs> Read much Hamlet or D&D manuals lately? <laughs> Speed will allow you to more accurately hit ghoulies and dodge, and you get more turns. VP is your vitality, and once depleted, it'll banish your soul to hell. Um, BP dictates how many skills you can use before resting. Alright. Uh, Battle Tome 2, status. Uh, okay. Montezuma's guard is half for three turns. Wow. Handy capable. Brain halved. Timeout. Speed halved. Stroke. Lie Dorn for three turns. So I guess you're sleeping. Foul. Lose a turn. Um, permanent conditions like outside of battle. Diabetes. Poison. Lose five percent of vitality. Freaking diabetes. <laughs> Glaucoma. Your hit percentage is halved. That sucks. That's why Ast you need chumps. Yeah. Aspergers. Make social situations awkward. Yup. What does that mean in the game? What does that mean at all? It does. Uh, Parkinson's power haft. 
Finally, battle ta battle in tactics. Actually, uh, yeah, battle in. So stat curses, blessings, so targeting. Everything is an intrinsic weakness. Find out what it is. Items, unguents. Use potions when your VP is dire. Revive allies. Gold. Spend your zenny wealth. It uses gold and zenny. 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 Wow. It's from like Capcom games. Yeah, really, like Mega Man Legends. Yeah. Um, lastly, preparation can be the difference between life and non-existence. What was Gauld? Was that Dragon Quest? It sounds uh, familiar. I don't know. I, I, I do know that Zenny was first used in Section Z, I think. Jesus. Gauld, I know. Oh, no, no, no. Gauld, was Gauld ta the Tales games? Yeah, I think so. Alright, and now the, uh, the save point before we call it a day. It has come to my attention that in certain circles, simian-minded individuals are referring to vidcons as vidcons, ignorantly placing a space between vid and con. <laughs> Chill out, dude. Perhaps their brains have dulled by years of Madden and Quake. <sighs> Rather than mentally invigorating games such as Arcelad and Growlancer, because even a child can tell that placing a space between vid and con and vidcon is perhaps a prof more profoundly philistine certain American administration that cannot be named. What? <laughs> Placing a space in VidCon completely belittles the meaning of the word and displays the user's blatantly minuscule intellect and misunderstanding of the basic precepts of grammar. VidCon is a perfect marriage of the words console and video game, creating a short and effective portmanteau Wow, <laughs> that quickly and accurately labels mentioned objects and anybody who does not immediately recognize VidCon as absolutely outrageous clearly lacks the mental faculties to correctly operate a VidCon, other than perhaps FIFA Sports. FIFA. What a douche, man. I mean, I don't play sports games, but seriously, chill, dude. <laughs> I'm at this point because I have recently been belligerently barraged by imbecilic VidCon references that unnerve me to no end and have taken it upon myself to correct the damage that your poor Western education, though this is a subject to be discussed on a later date, that's twice now, this guy's an asshole, <laughs> has wrought upon you. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, roll on the Mars. You should personally thank me that I did not see fit to correct your preponderous mistake in Japanese, because I am thoroughly positive your Neanderthal mind would be incapable of deciphering the hiragana from the katakana. Jesus Christ! And he probably only knows words like shonen. I know, I... So kawaii uhu. Sukoi desne. Shut up. Yeah, you're, you're fluent, jackass. Alright, well... We made it to the B-Ball Catacombs, and while we haven't encountered real action yet, trust me, that'll be coming up next time, because this is the first dungeon of the game. Until then, Lotus Prince and Vice the Bold, signing off. Peace.